Now we're almost ready to crack on with our course, but before we can, we need to learn how to delete verts and also how to repair the mesh. So we'll go to terrain, vert, and up here you'll see a white cross and a red cross. Now they are both delete commands, but one is a non destructive delete and one is simply a delete. Now, if you can, you always want to use the non-destructive delete. So to do that, if we've got a vert we want to take out, we hover over it, it'll turn to cross when we're on select or move. Once we've got it selected, if we just click the non-destructive delete, it's taken it out and the edges moved over to the nearest vert they could attach themselves to. I'll just undo that. And we can also box select verts that way. If I select a whole range of verts, I can again click the non-destructive delete and if it's possible, it will take all those verts out. We can then add more verts in to smarten up the mesh. I'll just go to the terrain painter that we learnt, surface. Add density one zero. We can then simply paint on a few verts where we want them just to smarten up areas if we've taken too many verts out of one space. The problem comes when we have areas usually created when we've made mistakes <laughs> and especially when you're beginning you tend not to know how to correct the mistake so quite often you'll try to correct a mistake and it will just get worse and worse to the point where it won't allow you to delete. Just undo here rather than keep clicking undo I'll use if you see the shortcut for undo is control and Z that's pretty much the only shortcut I use uh, so I'll just tap control and Z to, to go back uh, the reason I don't use shortcuts uh, is twofold one I can't remember them all and two I'm so clumsy uh, and that every key almost does something on APCD that if I happen to try and use a shortcut and miss the key and knock another one I won't have a clue what I've done uh, and it could cause all sorts of problems so I find it easier to just keep it simple uh, use just the control and the shift key and the enter key and anything I need to type and keep it to that because lots of shifts and controls and letters I'm more likely to do just as much damage and waste time than I ha have saved by pressing these keys. Plus, you have to let go of the mouse, find the key, press it, come back. Well, it's I find it just as quick to move my mouse up to the menu and click undo or whatever else I'm trying to do. So, yeah, unless I'm multiple uh, deleting, I don't really use the shortcuts at all. Anyway, back to the situation in hand I've created this odd sort of mess here which is a sort of thing that you may end up creating yourself if you make a few errors and you'll find if you box select that you decide you want want to delete it you can't sort it out what you'll find is if I go to vert select I'm not sure where it ends actually somewhere around in there so I'll click the non-destructive delete and you'll see it's it's left in a load of verts here uh, that it hasn't deleted um, so I've got a bit of a problem I want to delete this vert I click the non-destructive delete and it just won't delete so what do I do well this is where the other delete comes in what I can do now 
is selecting that I want to delete. select those ones and I can now hit the destructive delete and bang you'll see I've got rid of the verts the problem is I've I've also got a big hole in my mesh now there's nothing I've got no land there at all it's just a hole um, so what can I do now well fortunately there is a way we can get our needle and thread out and stitch this hole up And to do that, we need to go from the verts to the face tab. And if you look up here, we have a create face option. And for, to make this easier, I will turn uh, the verts on so that we can see them. And I'll click create face. And what this allows us to do is create a face now if we click in midair it will create a face that's not attached to anything which is good for some things if you want to build some sort of 3d and then move it somewhere else onto the course that's all well and good but we actually want to connect our faces to the existing mesh and the way to do this is to click on any two points any two verts so if I click on that vert and that vert and somewhere here it's actually created a face using the two existing verts and the new vert that I've added so by clicking three times we can create faces we just have to make sure that the first two we click on are attached uh, to where we want so I can now fill this in by clicking on this vert and this vert and that vert and this vert and this vert and that vert and I can just work my way around until uh, the hole's completely filled. It's going to take some time though because I've created quite a large area which I shouldn't have really done for this tutorial. I should have just made a small hole and filled it up quickly but uh, you get the idea. So now I'm going to create a new point maybe over here a bit and back to that one and then I can go to that one, to that one, to that one. So. You can see I'm working my way across and I can eventually stitch it all up together and then just replace the verts again using the terrain painter. I can just add in the verts again uh, so that I've got some verts to work on once the hole's been removed. <laughs> 